A battle is brewing over parking spaces between a restaurant and a Pismo Beach leaders. City is now asking for $72,000 in order for Beach and Biscuits to use its patio. KSBY's Melissa Newman says the business has started a petition to get the city to drop that fee. One of the owners of this business tells me this space has always been used for outdoor seating and the business before them didn't have to pay for it. But the city says they're treating this business like they would anyone else. In the six weeks since Beach and Biscuits opened, they've gained a lot of traction on Yelp and other social media sites, helping them sell around 300 biscuits per day. We love trying new things that are not like chain restaurants. So we just went on Yelp and just like looked and we were like, we have to go to the biscuit place because we love biscuits. I mean, how can you go wrong? Now diners of the restaurant have been using social media to spread the word about this, a petition to allow Beach and Biscuits to use its outdoor patio. I saw it last night and I figured I'd come here today to sign the petition, um, which I think when people come to the beach, to the ocean, and the weather is as beautiful as it is today, that they rather sit outside and eat their breakfast rather than be indoors. Co-owner Gina Mayo says the city is asking for $72,000 in order to use the patio, a space she says she desperately needs as her business continues to grow. We have a lot of people coming off the 101 to eat here and you know, there are times on the weekend we have people sitting on the ground on our patio on blankets eating, and I just don't want that to be the impression of Pismo Beach. But the city says if Beach and Biscuits wants to add to its square footage by using the patio, it has to pay for two additional parking spots to the tune of $36,000 each. It's not about having them pay that fee, it's about providing the parking. The parking has continually been the number one priority for members of the community and the city council. Mayo says she wants to remain hopeful their petition will get the city to change their minds. She argues the $72,000 is equivalent to three years rent. Mayo says so far they've received around 1,000 signatures to this petition. The next city council meeting is on August 6th. In Pismo Beach, Melissa Newman, KSBY News. The city says the parking spots can either be on site through a business arrangement with another business or through the city's parking in lieu fee.